happy, happy Monday. This is Kurt Berglund with more Pine Tar Baseball. Great teams of the 20th century set action for you. We're working our way through the entire set to demo for you, give you a look at it, give us think about the teams. All of the uh, set information and ordering information is in the description for this video, so take a look, check it out. Uh, the PDF is $12.99, the printed and shipped cards to you, $52.99, and I'll send you a PDF of the game for free if you don't have the instructions, and if 22 teams aren't enough, I'll even send you the 1986 Boston Red Sox, a 23rd team, for free. Just let me know that you want them, and they are yours. Today... We have a new twist on the Yankees-Dodgers rivalry. It is the 1939 New York Yankees, a team that an awful lot of folks seem to think is the best one of all time. Uh, winners of 106 games and winners of the American League pennant in 1939 by a whopping 17 games. This is a great team. They are loaded. They are at Chavez Ravine visiting the 1974 Los Angeles Dodgers, winners of 102 games. But they only won their division by four games over an excellent Cincinnati Reds team in 1974. I think that Reds team, one of the very best, maybe the best, in Sparky Anderson's run. So winning that division that year was no small feat. The pitchers today will be red roughing with right -hander, uh, the right-handed ace for the late 30s New York Yankees, and he will be opposed by right-hander Andy Messersmith, who was, uh, I guess, the number two starter behind Don Sutton on that staff. It's gonna be a good game. Lots of slugging power, lots of good pitching. Uh, this one's got an awful lot to like, so hope you'll enjoy this look at the set and uh, this ball game here this afternoon. Let's get to the starting lineups. We're visiting 1939 New York Yankees, Pine Tar Baseball, great teams of the 20th century set. Frankie Crossetti leading off at shortstop. Red Rolf batting second at third base. Charlie Keller bats third in right field. Some guy named DiMaggio bats fourth in center field. Batting fifth is the catcher, Bill Dickey. Batting sixth is the left fielder, George Selkirk. Batting seventh is the second baseman, Joe Gordon. And batting eighth is the first baseman, Babe Dahlgren. Batting ninth and on the mound, it's Red Ruffing. Red is an A pitcher the first two times through the order, and then he improves to an A-plus pitcher the third time and subsequent times through the order. He has no strikeout or walk modifiers. He can give you eight innings or more if it's going well. And look at that batting average for Red. In 1939, he hit 307 and was used as a pinch hitter in 16 contests. So lots to like there. For the homestanding 1974 Los Angeles Dodgers, Davey Lopes, Leads off at second base. Betting second in left field, it's Bill Buckner. Betting third in center field, Jim Wynn. Betting fourth at first base, Steve Garvey. Betting fifth behind the plate, Joe Ferguson. Betting sixth in right field, Willie Crawford. Betting seventh at third base, Ron Say. Betting eighth at shortstop, it's Bill Russell. Betting ninth and on the mound, Slider specialist Andy Messersmith, A-plus pitcher, first two times through the order at home. Then he drops to a B. He's got strikeout modifiers on 55 and 77, and he can give you seven or more if it's going well for him. All right, so we are ready to go. The Yankees won their World Series. The Dodgers lost theirs, so let's see what happens here today. Crossetti steps into the batter's box to face Messersmith, and here we go. This one is loop to left, just in front of Buckner, and it drops for a base hit. So Crossetti is on, and 
no, and we are underway. Red Rolf coming to the plate, third baseman for the Yankees. Hit 329 in 1939. Messersmith to the belt. The pitch to Red is a ground ball Russell. He goes to Lopes for one. The relay to Garvey, not in time. Rolf beats the rap at first. However, Crossetti is forced at second, so there's one out now. And Charlie Keller comes to the plate. 334 for the Yankee right fielder, the pitch. This is drilled by Crossetti, and this is going to get over Buckner's head, bounce off the wall. Around second goes Rolf. He's going to third. They have a chance to wave him in. They're going to do it. Buckner's throw to Russell. And now Russell pivots and throws to Ferguson, and he's safe at home. It's a one to nothing Yankee lead and a double to left by Charlie Keller. And now they have DiMaggio to contend with. So no easy, no soft touches in the 39 Yankee lineup. DiMaggio up there, 381 in 39. Messersmith to the belt, the pitch to Joe D. Is lined a base hit to left field. Here comes Buckner. Around third comes Keller. Buckner gets rid of the ball toward Ferguson at home. And not in time. That will score Keller on the single by DiMaggio. It's 2 nothing Yankees in the top of the first. All righty, so now it's Dickey, and Mr. Smith needs a double play grounder. 302 for Dickey in 39. The pitch. This is to left. Buckner toward the line will make the catch on this one, and there's two outs. And now it's Selkirk. Twinkle Toes, 306, batting sixth in the order of the pitch. And this is ripped to left field and deep toward the line. Off the foul pole. Selkirk will touch them all. It's a 4 nothing Yankee lead in the top of the first. 4 nothing Yankees off Messersmith. That's going to get action started in the Dodger bullpen. It'll be... Jeff Zahn starting to throw the left-hander. And Joe Gordon steps in, batting seventh in today's game against Messersmith. The pitch from Andy, and this is trouble. This is driven over Buckner's head again. It's going to split Buckner and win. Gordon around second. He's going to go into third with a standing triple. Two outs, Gordon at third, and now Dahlgren comes to the plate. The 235 hitting first sacker took over for Gehrig, of course, in 39. Red Ruffing is on deck. Messersmith to the belt. The pitch home. This is grounded to say. Ron's got it and throws to Garvey, and that'll retire the Yankees in the first. But they put up a four spot, and it's 4 nothing after a half an inning. So here comes Red Ruffing. And a pitcher on the road, which is where he is right now. Lope stands in the batter's box, ready to get the Dodger attack started. The pitch to Davey. Hey, struck him out. Ruffing's first. We're underway in the bottom of the first. Now it's Buckner. Billy Buck, 314 on the 74 season, the pitch. Loop to center, it's going to drop in front of DiMaggio, and Buckner is on with a single. So now the Dodgers have a base runner. We'll check Dickey's arm, although, as I recall, minus six. Tough to run down four in the top of the first, but maybe they will. Roughing to the belt. The pitch home to win is a range check. Get to the kitchen. It's a Frankie Crossetti range check. 
He gloves it and goes to Gordon for one. The relay to Dahlgren is not in time. It's a fielder's choice that retires Buckner at second. Win is safe at first. And now Garvey will come to the plate with two outs. Roughing to the belt. The pitch. And Garvey with a line drive base hit that drops to the left of Selkirk. Win around second. He's going to take third as the throw comes into second base. And now there's Dodgers at the corners with two men out in the bottom of the first. Ruffing's got a little bit of a jam going on. Ferguson at the plate with big time power. Ruffing to the belt. The pitch home is a... Pitcher modifier struck him out. That will retire the side on roughing second strikeout. We've played one. It's Yankees four, Dodgers nothing. It's Chavez Ravine. Bottom of the order coming up for New York. It's roughing. And then the top with Crosetti and Rolf coming up for the Yankees. Mr. Smith winds. And I'm dropping dice. Left and right. The pitch is hit to left. Not deep. This one's for Buckner, and he's got it for the first out in the second inning. Now it's Crosetti. One for one. The pitch. Center field. Jimmy Wynn coming in a few steps. He'll make the catch for out number two. And now Rolf coming up. Maybe Mr. Smith had first inning nerves. Ralph reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the first. The pitch is a base hit the other way. It's going to drop uh, just in front of Win, And he's on with two outs. And now Keller. Keller doubled home Ralph in the first. Mr. Smith to the belt. Checks Rolf. The pitch home. To left. Buckner with another chance. And he'll put it away for out number three. We've played one and a half in Los Angeles. And it's 4 nothing, 39 Yankees. This is the great teams of the 20th century set for Pine Tar Baseball. Berglund.curt at yahoo.com is my PayPal account. Pay PDF $12.99. A printed and shipped set is $52.99, and you're asking for the great teams of the 20th century set, and I ship promptly. All right, so the Dodgers in the bottom of the second will have Crawford, Say, and Russell coming up against Ruffing, who had a rough go of it in the first inning, but managed to escape with no damage. 295 for Crawford and 74. The pitch hit high but not deep to Joe DiMaggio in center field. And there's one gone. Now it's Ron Say. 262 for the Dodger third baseman. And this is ball four. Say will take his base. And that'll bring up Russell. Bill. Hit 269, and Messersmith is on deck. And Andy was okay with the bat in 74, just like Ruffing was in his season. Pitch to Billy. Hey, struck him out. That's number three for Ruffing. And then I'll bring up Messersmith with Say still at first, and two men out now. Roughing, not throwing a masterpiece, but getting the job done. The pitch to Messer Smith. A comebacker, gloved by Red. He turns and flips to Dahlgren, and that will retire the Dodgers in the second. We've played two, and it's 4 nothing. Yankees. Messer Smith back out to face DiMaggio, Dickey, and Twinkle Toes Selkirk, who went deep in the first. DiMaggio is one for one. The pitch from Messer Smith.
Hey, struck him out. That's Andy's first to start the third inning. Dickey up now. Lester Smith has settled down nicely. He has retired five of the last six. Dickey the pitch. And as soon as I say that, Dickey hits a base hit that drops in front of win for a single. And he's on with one out. Here comes Selkirk, who went deep in the first. 517 slugging for George in 39. The pitch from Mr. Smith. And this has the chance for. A base hit. A base hit for Selkirk. Dickey will stop at second. There's two on now, with one out for Gordon, who tripled but was stranded in the first. Zahn starts to heat up again. Gordon at the plate. Dodgers need a double play. The pitch from Messersmith is hit to Lopes. He goes to Russell for one. The relay to Garvey, not in time. Gordon beats the rap at first, first and third for the Yankees now, and Dahlgren comes to the plate. Roughing on deck. Mester Smith to the belt. Dahlgren is 0 for 1. Two outs. Yankees at the corners. The pitch to the babe. Not that babe. Hey, struck him out. That's number two, and that gets Mester Smith out of a sticky third inning. We've played two and a half. And it's 4 nothing Yankees. Roughing out to face the top of the Dodger order. Lopes, then Buckner, then Wynn. On base percentages excellent across the board. Lopes is 0 for 1. Roughing winds and delivers. And this is trouble. This is going to get past Selkirk and rattle around in the corner. Lopes will stop at second with a double to left field. And now Buckner. Dodgers have an attack. They can certainly get back in this. Buckner's one for one. Roughing to the belt. Checks Lopes. The pitch home. Hit to center. DiMaggio is under it. He's going to take it. Lopes is going to tag. And will hold. Doesn't want to get thrown out at third base for the second out of the inning. And so now it's win at the plate. Jimmy is 0 for 1. Maybe the best candidate for the MVP in 74 for L.A., although Garvey won it, the pitch. Ground ball, Rolf. He checks Lopes and fires to Dahlgren. There's two outs. And now Garvey. 1 for 1 for Steve. Roughing to the belt. The pitch. Base hit. Garvey. This one goes to left field and drops in front of Selkirk. Around third comes Lopes. He will be waved. The throw home. Not in time. 4-1 now, Yankees, as the Dodgers get on the board. And Ferguson comes to the plate. Fergie, 0 for 1. Garvey at first, two men out. The pitch to Joe. Ball two. Ball two is the count. He's ahead in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Roughing to the belt, checks Garvey again. The pitch home to Joe. Hey, struck him out. That's Ruffing's fourth, and it ends the third inning. Dodgers get one on two hits. They leave one after three. It's 4-1 Yankees. Messersmith will get roughing at the bottom of the Yankee order. And then it'll go to the top with Crosetti and Rolf.
this was the most used Yankee lineup in the 39 season, which means Crosetti, more than anybody else, was their leadoff hitter. And that is a little bit amazing. Messersmith to roughing the pitch home. High but not deep toward Buckner in left. He's in a few steps, actually, and will make the catch for out number one. In the fourth, now it's Crosetti, one for two. The pitch, a struck him out. That's three for Messersmith. Four in a row retired by Andy, and he is now a B pitcher as we are the third time through the order. Rolf stands in, one for two with a run scored. The pitch. He hits this one to center toward right center. Win on the run, on the run, and he's going to get there, and that will retire the Yankees in 1-2-3 fashion. For the first time for Messersmith, we go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 4-1 four, Yankees. Ruffing will face Crawford, Say, and Russell in the Dodger fourth. Dodger's not out of this by any stretch. Team could hit. Crawford 0 for 1. The pitch from Ruffing to, center, uh, to, la to right. I'll get it right. To right field. Charlie Keller toward the line and will make the catch. And there's one gone. Now it's Ron Say. Ron walked in the second. Pitch from Ruffing. He struck him out. That's five for Red. And it'll bring up Russell with two outs. Messersmith standing in the on-deck circle. Russell, a strikeout victim in the second. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. Number six for Ruffing. And that retires the Dodgers in the fourth. We've played four complete, and it's 4-1 Yankees at Dodger Stadium on a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. Yankee meat of the order coming up. Keller, the three-hitter. DiMaggio, the four-hitter. And Dickey, the five-hitter, in the top of the fifth. Keller is one for two, the pitch. Ground ball lopes. Davies got it and flips to Garvey, one down. Six in a row retired by Messersmith. DiMaggio, one for two. A ribby, a run scored, a strikeout. He's been busy. Pitch from Messersmith is a base hit for Joe to left field. Drops in front of Buckner. Bill collects it and fires it back in with one out. There's one on for New York now, and Dickey comes up. One for two on the day. 3-0-2 for the Yankee catcher in 39. Messersmith wants a double play ball. He's got that slider working. The pitch. Ball two. Ball two. Dickey ahead in the count. Pitch is a base hit for Dickey. It drops in front of Crawford. DiMaggio around second. He will take third. That's going to get Jeff Zahn up yet again in the Dodger bullpen. And Selkirk comes to the plate. Dodger infield going to play in. Try and choke off that potential fifth run. Selkirk is two for two. Messersmith to the belt. Checks the runners. The pitch home is grounded to Russell. That will hold DiMaggio at third. Dickey advances to second, and Russell makes the play to Garvey at first. And there's two gone now. Gordon comes up, one for two. They could walk him and face Dahlgren. Mm, that's what they're going to do. They're going to walk Joe Gordon intentionally and face Babe Dahlgren, the Yankee first baseman, with roughing on deck. 
Master Smith to the belt. The pitch to the babe, but not that babe. And this is trouble. It's a modified base hit for Dahlgren. Everybody moves up 90 feet. DiMaggio scores. Dickey goes to third. Gordon goes to second. And they're still loaded for roughing now. Messersmith drops a letter grade to a C. <sighs> what do they want to do here? They're going to try and get him through it because Mr. Smith is due to lead off the bottom of the fifth. Andy is leaking fuel. Roughing at the plate is 0 for 2. There's two outs. Dickey at third. Gordon at second. Dahlgren at first. Yankees lead 5-1. The pitch is going to be hit to center field. Jim Wynn toward left center is there and will put it away for out number three. So they get Messersmith through the fifth. He allows one more run. We'll give you his numbers as he is about to be pinch hit for. Andy went five innings. He allowed 10 hits. He walked one. It was intentional. He struck out three and allowed five runs. They're all earned. And one home run. Not a great day. Ruffing finishing his warm-up pitches. And Walt Alston is looking for a pinch hitter on his bench. And he finally selects Von Joshua to get the work, get the job. Joshua will pinch hit for Mr. Smith. The new pitcher in all probability will be Jeff Zahn. And Von Joshua stands in against Red Ruffing as a 234 hitter in 1974. The pitch. Hit to center. Here comes Joe DiMaggio. He's got it for out number one. Yankees lead 5-1 in the bottom of the fifth. Lopes, one for two. And center field, DiMaggio one more time. Waves to Maryland and catches it behind his back for out number two. And now Bill Buckner with two outs and nobody on. Roughing pitch to right, but not deep. This is Charlie Keller. This is three outs. And this is seven in a row for Red Ruffling retired. We've played five. It's 5-1 five, Yankees in L.A. Jeff Zahn comes on. He is a B pitcher at home. He has no strikeout or walk modifiers. And he can give you two. And that's exactly what Walter Alston would like from him. Top of the Yankee order coming. Crosetti, Rolf. Rolf and Keller. Crow is one for three. The pitch. That one goes to the screen as Jeff Zahn is pumped up. Ball one. This one is hit to right. Willie Crawford coming in. Willie Crawford makes the catch, and there's two down. Now, now there's one down. Sorry, one down. Rolf comes up now. Left-handed batting Yankee third baseman. Charlie Keller is on deck. The pitch. Grounded to say. Ron's got it to his right. Plants and throws to Garvey, and there's two down. Another left-handed batter, Charlie Keller, comes up now. Charlie is one for three on the day. The pitch from Zahn. Is going to be a base hit. A modified base hit for Keller. I'll bring up DiMaggio with Dickey on deck. DiMaggio does terrible, terrible things to left-handed pitching. So let's see what... Well, he doesn't do good things to right-handed pitching either in 1939. Let's see how Zahn handles him. Two for three, the pitch... 
Ground ball comebacker. Gloved by Zahn as it traveled through the middle. He flips to Garvey, and that'll retire the Yankees in the sixth. Zahn does a good job. But we go to the bottom of the six. It's 5-1 New York. And Red Ruffing now is an A-plus pitcher. The third time through the order, he gets to face the meat of the Dodger order, Win Garvey, and Ferguson. And if anybody reaches, it'll be Crawford. In the Dodger six, they're down by four, but this is still doable. Ruffling winds and delivers. Ground ball, Gordon. Joe's got it. Flips to Dahlgren, one gone. Now it's Garvey, two for two, and possesses the only Dodger RBI of the day. Red roughing winds and delivers. This is hit to left. Selkirk on the run toward the line is going to get there for out number two. And Ferguson, who has struck out twice, will try and avoid the hat trick. 0 for 2 for Joe on the day. The pitch. He does not avoid the hat trick. That's strikeout number seven for Ruffing. And we've played six. Yankees five, Dodgers one in sunshiny Dodger Stadium. Zahn comes out for inning number two. He'll get Dickey, Selkirk, and Gordon. This is the Pine Tar Baseball Great Teams of the 20th Century set. Berglund.Kurt at Yahoo.com is my PayPal account. PDF $12.99. Printed and shipped cards $52.99. And you're asking for the Great Teams of the 20th Century set. And the rules to the game are free. And... So are the 86 Red Sox, if you want them. Two for three for Dickey on the day as he leads off the seventh inning. Yankees would love an insurance run or two here. The pitch. Ground ball, say to his left. Plants and throws to Garvey, one gone. Now it's Selkirk, two for three. The big home run to cap off the Yankee four-run first inning. Pitch from Zahn is driven by Selkirk, and that's going to be trouble. That's going to get between Buckner and Wynn, and Selkirk helps himself to a one-out double, and it's going to get the Dodger bullpen going again. This time, Charlie Huff is going to start to throw, along with Jim Brewer. We're in the top of the seventh, and Alston does not want to give up more runs. Gordon coming to the plate. He's one for two, and always dangerous. Zahn to the belt. The pitch to Joe is hit to right. Crawford under it. Crawford will make the catch, and Selkirk will hold at second. And so Dahlgren comes up now with two outs. And roughing on deck. Zahn with a chance to get out of the inning before Huff and Brewer even are loose. Dahlgren one for three. The pitch from Zahn to him is to center. Win under it. Right in his tracks. And he puts it away for out number three. We've played six and a half. It's time to stretch them out at Dodger Stadium. It's 5-1, 39 Yankees over the 74 Dodgers using Pine Tar Baseball. Red Ruffing will face Willie Crawford, Ron Say, and Bill Russell in the bottom of the seventh. Crawford is 0 for 2. And the Dodgers need to start chipping away. They're down 4. Ruffing has retired 10 in a row with a pitch. That one goes to the screen. Ball one. Roughing lines and delivers to Crawford. Ground ball Dahlgren. He's going to take it to first himself, and there's one gone in the bottom of the seventh. Now it's Say 0 for 1. Bill Russell on deck. If anybody gets on, a pinch hitter for Zahn. 
stay at the plate. The pitch from Ruffing to left toward the line. Selkirk will grab it, and that is 12 in a row retired for Red Ruffing. Now it's Russell. Billy is 0 for 2 with a pair of Ks. He's trying to avoid the hat trick. Pitch from Ruffin. And he avoids it with ball four. So he's on. And that's going to bring up a pinch hitter for Zahn. And it's going to be Mr. Pinch Hitter, Manny Moda, batting for him. 281 on the 74 season for Manny. As he makes his way to home plate to pinch hit for pitcher Jeff Zahn. Give you Zahn's numbers. Jeff Zahn went two innings, two hits allowed. No walks, no strikeouts, no runs, no home runs. So he did his part. Now it's up to Moda to do his part. Ruffing has a runner on first that he walked, Bill Russell. And there's two men out. Moda at the plate. The pitch from Red Ruffing is hit to center. Here comes Joe D. He's on the run. He waves to Maryland, and he makes the catch. That will retire the Dodgers in the seventh. After seven complete, it is 5-1 New York. We have a new Dodger pitcher on the way. And it's going to be Charlie Huff, the old, well, actually, the young at that time, knuckleballer. Although, I don't know if Charlie Huff was ever actually young. I don't think he was. Um, he will face Ruffing, Crosetti, and then Rolf in the Yankee eighth inning. They lead 5-1. Got to find Ruffing's card. Here he is. Here's Red. So he'll be back out for the eighth inning. The pitch... From the knuckleball specialist, Charlie Huff. Ground ball, say to his left. Gloves it and throws to Garvey, one gone. Dodger pitching, relief pitching has been excellent. Crosetti up there now, one for four. The pitch to Frankie. And as soon as I say that, of course... Is a base hit to right that drops in front of Crawford. Crosetti is on with a single, and that's going to bring up Rolf. And Keller is on deck. Mike Marshall is going to start to throw in the Dodger pen now. Jim Brewer is still out there. Throwing as well. Huff to the belt. Checks Crosetti. The pitch home to Rolf. Ground ball lopes. He goes to Russell for one. The relay to Garvey is a soul-crushing, rally-killing double play turned by the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And it's 5-1-39 Yankees over the 74 Los Angeles Dodgers. But getting late for the men from L.A., Ruffing is cruising. He has not allowed a hit since the third inning. And has, no, well, he walked a man last inning, but that's the only base runner in between then. So it's the top of the Dodger order. As I take a drink of H2O, top of the Dodger order in the bottom of the eighth, Lopes, Buckner, win. 5-1 Yankees. Lopes is 1 for 3. He scored. The Dodgers only run. The pitch. And we have a range check. Get to the kitchen. Get to the kitchen. It's a range check. And Red Rolf is going to fail the range check. It scoots right by him for a base hit for Lopes. And he's on to lead off the bottom of the 8th. Now it's Buckner. Billy Buck is 1 for 3. Roughing. Allowed, just allowed his first hit since the third inning. Red to the belt. The pitch to Billy Buck. It 
is a fly ball to center. DiMaggio into right center. He puts it away and Lopes retreats to first. And there's one out. Now it's win. Jimmy is 0 for 3, the pitch. And this one is going to be blocked by Dickey. Ball one. Almost got by him, but he blocked it. Lopes holds. Doesn't want to get thrown out. Down four in the eighth inning. So win is up. I had in the count. 1-0. Oh, the pitch to Jimmy. Is ball three. No, yeah, ball three. He's ahead in the count. Three balls, no strikes. And now Garvey on deck. Pitch to win. Is hit to left. This is Selkirk. And he comes in a few steps and puts it away. Oh, yeah, puts it away for out number two. Almost dropped it. And Garvey now with two outs and Lopes still at first. Garvey two for three, the pitch. Left field, Selkirk one more time. Puts this one away, and that retires the Dodgers in the eighth. Ruffing has allowed five hits against a very good Dodger attack. We go to the ninth. Keller, DiMaggio, and Dickey for the Yankees as they lead 5-1. Charlie Huff back out for inning number two. Marshall and Brewer still throwing in the Dodger bullpen. Keller is two for four and stands in there now with a 447 on base average. The pitch. And this is going to be trouble for Huff. It's a base hit to left field down the line, and Buckner's got to go get it. Keller around first. He will get a double his second of the day. A three for five day for Keller there. Uh, what are they going to do here? They're going to walk DiMaggio. And here comes Alston. He wants Jim Brewer to face Dickey. So there's two Yankees on now with nobody out. Huff is gone. Brewer comes on. Charlie pitched one inning plus. Allowed two hits. Walked one. It was intentional. No strikeouts. No home runs and no runs yet. However, both runners on base, of course, are his responsibility. Jim Brewer comes on as the fourth Dodger pitcher. And he is installed in the nine spot in the order. All right, so Dickey comes up. They would love a double play grounder. Brewer is an A pitcher. No strikeout or walk modifiers. He can give you two if you need them. Jim was getting up there by 1974, but hanging in there for 24 appearances on the season. The Dodgers short man, left-handed short man, Marshall, throwing behind him, got into 106 games. So not a lot of action for Jim. Dickey is two for four. There's nobody out. Keller at second, DiMaggio at first, the pitch. And it's a range check. Get to the kitchen. For the love of God, it's a range check. Third base, say it's gonna be off his glove, but it stays on the infield. Scoots toward Russell, and everybody's gonna be safe. Keller makes it to third, DiMaggio at second, Dickey at first. Nobody out, and the infield comes in for the Dodgers. Selkirk comes to the plate. Yes, the Dodger infield is in. It's 5-1. to one. We're in the ninth inning. There's nobody out. Brewer to the belt. The pitch to Selkirk. And we've got an error check. 
which at a couple of spots for this Dodger team can be a little bit scary. 67 is hit to Russell, and we found one of them. That's going to be an E6. That will score Keller from third and move everybody up 90 feet on the E6 by Russell. Now it's Gordon, and that's going to do it for Brewer. Here comes Alston. He wants Marshall. Six to one, Yankees. Bases still loaded, infield still in. So Brewer went no innings, allowed one hit, and that's it so far. Marshall, an A-plus pitcher at home, strikeout modifier on 77. He can give you three. And he pitched a lot, 208 innings in 1974. Gordon is up. One for three with an intentional walk on his ledger. The infield is in. The pitch. This is to center. Jimmy Wynn is under it. And he... DiMaggio will hold. DiMaggio will hold. And there's one out now. Dahlgren at the plate. 6-1 New York. Infield still in. The pitch to the babe. Not that babe. Gloved by Say. Okay, Say comes home to Ferguson with the throw, and that forces DiMaggio at the plate. The putout is 5-2 to two on your scorecard, and if you're scoring, may God bless your soul. Red Ruffing comes to the plate with two outs now, and the base is still loaded. Marshall with a chance to get out of this without any further damage if he can get Ruffing. Here's Red's card. Marshall to the belt. Ruffling is 0 for 4. The pitch home. Well, and there goes that. It's a base hit for Ruffing, and it drops in front of Crawford. Home comes Dickey, 7 to 1. Selkirk around third. He is going to be waved, and Crawford is going to throw for him. The throw home is... Not in time. He does not get him at the plate. It's a two-run single for Red Ruffing, and Skip Carey would say that it's time to walk the dog. Babe Dahlgren goes to third on the single to right by Ruffing. It is eight to one, Yankees, and Marshall now needs to get Crosetti to get out of the inning. Pitch to Frankie is to left. Bill Buckner under it and puts it away for out number three, but a three-run ninth puts the Yankees up eight to one. I don't know if I said that before, but it's eight one Yankees. And Ruffing is back out to try and get the complete game for New York as they have handled the 74 Dodgers. Ferguson, 0 for 1 with three strikeouts, then Crawford, then Say. Fergie's trying to avoid the golden sombrero. Roughing to the belt. The pitch home. An error check. Well, at least Joe made contact. This is hit toward... Oh. Joe DiMaggio, and Joe makes that play one down in the bottom of the ninth. Now it's Crawford. Willie's 0 for 3. Ruffing has only allowed five hits. Four of them singles. The pitch to Crawford. 
until now. That's hit to left, and it's going to rattle around in the corner past Selkirk. Crawford helps himself to a double, and with one out, he's in scoring position for Ron Say. It's 0 for 2 for Ron. He's walked. Roughing to the belt, the pitch to Ron. And he lost him. That's ball four. So now Joe McCarthy wants action in his bullpen. It's going to be Johnny Murphy. Yeah, I guess Johnny Murphy get the get the nod. Ron Say coming to the plate. 0 for 2 with a walk on Ron's ledger. Oh, no, he just walked. First and second. Crawford at second. Say at first. Russell coming up. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Ruffing has only walked 3. He has struck out 7. On deck is a pinch hitter for Marshall, Ken McMullen. Roughing to the belt, the pitch home. Ground ball, Rolf. He fires to Gordon for one. The relay to Dahlgren, not in time. Russell just beats the rap at first. So now there's Dodgers at the corners, and here comes Ken McMullen to pinch hit for Mike Marshall. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, last chance saloon for the Dodgers. Roughing to the belt, and out away from a complete game victory over the Dodgers, the pitch. And that's to left and deep. Gonna drive DiMaggio back. Gonna drive Selkirk back. And gone for McMullen. A pinch hit, three run dong. 8 4 now with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. As McMullen goes deep, now it's Lopes. I guess they're gonna give Ruffing one more batter. The pitch. Ground ball, Crosetti. He fires to Dahlgren, and the Dodgers, or I'm sorry, the 39 Yankees win this one over the 74 Dodgers by a score of 8 to 4. The winning pitcher, Red Ruffing. The losing pitcher is Andy Messersmith. No save. It's a complete game victory for Ruffing. The line score for the Yankees, eight runs, 17 hits, and they committed no errors. For the vanquished, 74 Dodgers, four runs on seven hits, and they committed one error. 8 4 39 Yankees over the 74 Dodgers. This is the great teams of the 20th century set for Pine Tar Baseball. $12.99 for the PDF, $52.99 for the printed and shipped cards to your door. You're asking for the great teams of the 20th century set. I'll put all the details in the description for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Pine Tar Great Teams of the 20th Century Set Baseball. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, I have another Sabretooth Baseball game demo for you on my channel. Look for that. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. Have a good day. So long, everybody.